Today I am sharing with you guys how we use the Level K Language Arts curriculum from The Good and the Beautiful, how we use it in our homeschool. I'm going to share it with you inside the actual curriculum itself, how we use it, tips and tricks, and how we do a lesson as well. I hope that this can help you if you are looking to use this curriculum. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. My name is Gina and I'm a Canadian homeschool mom of three kids. We currently live off-grid in the middle of nowhere in the Canadian wilderness. I love sharing all things homeschooling, our love for Christ, and off-grid adventures. I'm a strong believer that the greatest legacy we can leave our children are happy memories. So come along and join us on this amazing journey. Before we start, I do want to thank The Good and the Beautiful for sponsoring today's video. I love partnering up with The Good and the Beautiful because it's just such an organic partnership because I've been using The Good and the Beautiful for years now. And guys, I love them so much. And I love sharing about them because when you find a curriculum that works so well for your family you stick with it so we've been sticking with the good and the beautiful for years now and i get a lot of questions regarding the curriculum so i love sharing with you guys you know how we use the curriculum in our homeschool and if you are new to the curriculum maybe you're not new but you're starting a new level and you want to know a little bit about it this is the video for you, specifically for level K. So I do have my son, he is four years old. He is currently doing level K. He is towards the end of the actual um, level K language arts curriculum. And I hope that this can help you. So let's get into the video. Okay, so I wanted to go over a couple of things that I do with my son when it comes to his language arts, okay? And I'm including all the things that I do just so you can have an idea of what we've been doing. So we have the level K from the Good and the Beautiful, the whole set. I have the level K course book. I have the booster A books that are integrated with the course and it tells you when to use them and the reading booster A cards. And usually, actually the booster cards are the ones that tell you when to read these books. So the question that I get asked the most is, should we get the booster cards? Would you recommend them? And 100%, I would recommend them because it goes very well with the course and I'll show you in a bit how that looks like. I also have a couple of different things here. So Michael actually has a pen pal, so he keeps all his letters in here. Um, it's a lot of fun doing pen pals with the kids. I add that into language arts just because it is like we're writing letters. Uh, he's learning how to send letters. It's just so much fun. I definitely recommend a pen pal. I just met people uh, through my YouTube channel, Instagram, and then we've become really good friends, the moms, and we have kids of the similar ages. And yeah, it just ended up happening. And they exchange cards, but also little knickknacks here and there. I have this kindergarten books pet pals, which is very, very sweet and goes very, very well with the level K course book. I have my first Africa reader and my first uh, nature reader that goes well with the course as well. And what's wonderful about them is that they, <clears throat> if you go on the table of contents, they have 22 different stories in here and each story focuses on certain concepts that you actually learn in the level K. So that's why I recommend that. And same thing with the kindergarten kindergarten book pet pals now another thing that my son does he's doing the handwriting level one and he's been really liking it so we started this in the beginning of the year and he has just been going through it he usually does like a page a day so this is a lot of fun and they have handwriting but they also have like pictures and coloring and different activities as well so <clears throat> he has been doing that as well okay this is the lesson we're going to be showing you today it's lesson 78 and reading words with a y part two we've been learning about the a y words in the booster card my son already mastered that card so when we do the lessons it's not as hard to do the lessons because he already knows the a y concept so when you have the reading booster cards, usually what happens is, is that you do, it's going to tell you right now, look, do a booster card, work on the reading booster card or books for six to 10 minutes. So you're going to booster card or books. Okay. And it'll tell you when to read the books, but you can always read those books no matter what. And, um, you uh, are going to work on them usually what i do is i do a card a day so right now if you will see here michael is on card he is on card number 37 the sh sound so it'll tell me in a past lesson which card he should have been mastered and it was this one right here number 34 
So you can see he is on card 37. So we don't have to stop. It'll tell you stop what you're doing and focus on the booster cards and let them master that booster card before moving on to the lesson. It'll just be so much easier to do a lesson once your child masters that. And that's the way it's supposed to go. And I've seen it. It's much easier to do a lesson because he already knew about this concept and it's more like review and repetition. So I really like it. Now, if your child is having like, it's overwhelming to see all these words, it actually gives you kind of advice how you can use the booster cards and kind of like do little games with it. There's the app, the Good and the Beautiful app, which has games there too, that correlates with certain lessons and concepts. There are videos online. Uh, go get the Good and the Beautiful app and you will get so much information. There are so many different activities and games that the child can play to help them to reinforce these concepts. I really like that. It'll tell you, you know, when to go on the app as well and kind of like see that concept. But my son loves the games. They're so cute. They're so sweet and they're a lot of fun. So the booster card, so since he's already mastered uh, uh, booster card 34, we're okay to move on. But it, let's just say I get to a lesson and he hasn't mastered it yet. I'll just stop and I will focus on the booster cards until we catch up. I know some people are like, oh, but I don't want to be behind. But there's no such thing as that. You're going at your child's pace. And what's important is, is for them to actually learn these concepts and not just like move on just to move on. So SH... This is what we're going to be focusing on, and you'll see that in a bit. And I like how they have the little uh, portions here telling you, like, ways to practice this. On the letter tiles app, they have, like, a little tiles app. There's just so many different ways you could do There's lots of games and um, ideas that they give you, so I really appreciate that. Another one here, so if you see reading card number 38, it tells you what book to go to. Uh, and it kind of reinforces these concepts that they're working on and the books are very very sweet So this is the reading booster card and I'll kind of show you a little bit inside of it Just so you can kind of like see how the cards uh, how the books look like So the next thing that we're going to be doing is our spelling words each of the units uh, I believe there's three units in here and they have spelling words that they're going to be working on so we're going to say the words aloud and then there is a, a the AY flipper you assembled. The day before it told me to assemble this, so that's what I did. I just had to cut it out and staple it here. So we're gonna be going over that and it's going over the AY, it says AA sound, okay? There's a lot of like little different things like, uh, like this uh, that make learning fun. This is one of them, but if you go, I'll just show you a couple of the different things that we've done in the past. This one right here is his spelling word. So we just kind of did like a little rainbow. It was like a little craft activity, but it definitely was super fun. My son loved that. Uh, yesterday we did a little tent activity over here where he did his spelling words and he put it in the little tent and then he just used his watercolor paints to, um, to color the picture. There's a lot of fun activities that we do, like hands-on activities um, that make just the language arts program a little bit more fun. Here is this little spider slider that we were working on sight words. So I keep this because sometimes I'll take it out so we can review and whatnot. So just so you can kind of get an idea of like the different activities. It's not only okay workbook kind of style. There's a lot of different activities that make it very fun and engaging. So we're going to be doing that. And then over here, there's the child's going to read the poem. And then uh, we're going to uh, practice reading sentences. We're going to look at the picture and then we're going to read the sentences. Uh, he's going to read it to me. And there's a little reading comprehension here. And then there is look at the picture and which sentence makes sense and trace it. And that is his independent practice. Sometimes with independent practice, I'll let him do it himself just so I can get him a little bit more independent and I'll tell him, Michael, can you do the independent practice so we can, so you can surprise me? Now it works better with math. When it comes to language arts, I kind of want to see like what he's doing and what he's learning. Like this is kind of hard for him to do by himself. So he won't do something like this by himself. But when it comes to something like, let me kind of show you if I can show you an example. When it comes to something like this, he could do on his 
on his own and I'll tell him, okay, this is what you got to do. Can you do it for me and kind of surprise me? Um, and then he'll do it by himself. So, uh, that just that right over here, this is a really good example too. He could kind of do that by himself. This he can do by himself. So there's certain things that he can do by himself. And I already kind of get him kind of that, like, I know he's young, but just kind of a little bit more independent to be like, you can do certain things on your own. So I like doing that as well. So I'm going to show you how a lesson looks like, but before I do, I want to answer. I'm going to show you how a lesson looks like, but before Okay. Do you remember what sound this makes? Yeah. What is Shh. it? Shh. Exactly. So let's start with the first one. Do you want to point to it for mommy or no? No, you can point. I can point to it. Okay. Which? Okay. This. This. Fish. Mm -hmm. Dash. Good. Rush. Uh -huh. And sash. Uh -huh. Good. Flash. And brush. Uh -huh. Smash. Good. And sh shut. Good. Uh -huh. Sh ship. Good. And sob. And sh 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 shed. Good. And last one, shell. Good job! <laughs> You're going to pick a sticker to put because you mastered it. You did so well. I'm so proud of you. Book and you're gonna pick a sticker to put there. Which sticker do you want? There's this page still, and there's more here. Which one do you want? I'm not really sure. I already took a lot of stickers. You did take a lot of stickers. Which one are you feeling? Do you want to go to the other page and check it out? Yeah. I would take this one. Which one? That one? Okay. That's sweet. This one. Okay, let's get that one. Oh, the little bird, that's so cute. Right here, this one. Yep, yeah, mastered. Good job. And then the next day, we're gonna start on this little reading card over here, and he's gonna have to read the sentences, the triangles. Do you wanna do that right now, or do you wanna leave that for tomorrow? I wanna leave it for today. For today? Okay, do you wanna try it out? Yeah. Okay. I, I, ma, ba, buy. Good. I buy. I buy two. Good. <coughs> oh, bless you. I buy two. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Yeah, fresh. Good job. I buy two fresh. Fish at I buy two fish fish at the shop. Wow, that was really good. Next one. We 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 wish we wish. Duh. What's that? I we wish we wish the So we wish the That's your sight word and your spelling word. She she, she. good. We she. wish she did Yeah. We wish she did not sh 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 let's try again let's let's uh, let's sound out the words sm sm sh mush smash 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 we wish she did not smash let's keep on going we wish she did not smash Da. 
dish. Dish. Good job. I just wanted to share with you guys the book that he's going to be reading tomorrow, and that's Dash and I. So we will go uh, and read this book tomorrow. I will see how he does. If he needs help, a little bit of help, like reading it, and I will read it first sometimes, and then he'll read it the next day, or I'll read it first, and then he'll read it, or vice versa it just depends I kind of like feel it out but this is kind of like the little book that we're going to be reading and it has the sh sound um that we are focusing on the sh sound so and it'll also have like past um concepts that we've been working on as well so uh really cute little books that come with it and then if you want some extra practice you can get the My First Africa Reader and you can also get My First Nature Reader. And if you go to the table of contents, you can see that they have different concepts that the child is working on on level K. So for SH sound right over here, duck in the pond, if you go to page 121, you can see that uh, story and it has the SH Mommy, what is sound. Daddy gonna be here? Soon. And we can read those stories as well. I'm trying to do stuff with one hand and it's kind of hard, but really sweet. I definitely recommend the little readers to go along with it because it really helps uh, with the different concepts the child is working on. So that's basically with the booster cards and the readers and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and there's also, let me see here. Oh, this is a nice reader as well. And same thing, it has different concepts that SH sound is definitely there as well. So it'll tell you all of the different concepts the child can work on. Let me see where the SH, right here, words with A-Y, this book over here, words with A-Y, S-H, and C-H. So these little books here are kind of newer. Kindergarten books, Pet Pals, The Good and Beautiful did send me this and I love it. So um, my daughter actually even likes taking this out. It's kind of like really well loved already. You can like see some dents and stuff because my daughter grabs this all the time just to look at the pictures and she's not even reading it, but she loves me reading these little books to her. So definitely recommend this as well. Spell your spelling words, okay? Can you spell he for me? <coughs> he. <coughs> H-E. Good. She. She is sh, 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 sh. It makes a sh sound. Sh. So, S-H-E. E. Good job. We. We. We is mm -hmm. W E. <gasps> Good job. Last one. Me. Me is M E. Awesome. Okay. Now mommy has this. Look. This is a A Y flipper. Remember A Y makes the A A sound. So it says here, good books bring warmth and light into our hearts and spirits. So mommy's gonna, you're gonna flip over and you're gonna see what it says, okay? So the first one here, what does it say? What does that say? Michael? The Mommy, but do you still have those over crackers? Do you still I'll have I'll try to check, uh, yeah, I'll look for them. Do you, can you, can you say these words for me? Okay. What's that say? Pay. Pay. What does this one say? Ma. Ma. Yeah. Ma. May. May. Okay, and what does this one say? Ray. Ray. What's ray? Like the sun ray. What does this one say? Ray. Lay. Good job. A ray. A ray. Yes. A ray. <laughs> what does this say? A uh, day. Day. Good job. You're not mixing up the D and the B anymore. Good job. And way. Way. What's the next one? Hey. Awesome. What's this one? Say. Yes. And what's this one? Sway. Sway. Oh, wow. There's so many words, but you're doing so well. Do you think you're doing good? Yes. Yes. I what, think I'm doing very good. You are doing very good. What's this one say? Trick. Tray. Tray. What's this one say? What's a tray? Like the tray. I have a tray of food. Remember when you bring mommy breakfast in bread, you're going to bring a tray. So are you going to give me breakfast in bed? No, I'm going to give it for your next birthday. For my next birthday. Okay. Because that other birthday was, was, too, was too quick. That it was other, too quick, yeah. Yeah, that... 
birthday was too quick. I know. Okay. But next time you can give me breakfast in bed? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. But, but only if Tichu's and Tichu's aren't coming. Okay. I could Tichu's and Tichu's came. Yeah, that's true. What's it say? Because then they don't know, know I'm giving you. I know. Okay. What's it say? Stay. Mm-hmm. Last Play. one. Play! You did amazing! Give me five! Awesome! Okay, now we're going to read the poem. Okay, you're going to read this poem for Mommy. It's in fancy letters. Look at it. What does that say? Uh, da, ed, ed, n, end. Yep. That's your, that's your sight word. Of. Good. Da. So a y makes an a sound. So day I sit by mom. Okay, so we have Nicholas helping out because sometimes he does do the independent review with uh, with Michael. This is still part of the lesson, but yeah. they're gonna do it together. And then we have Blue here. Lou, you want to homeschool too? He's like, no, I want to go outside. You want to go outside? Okay, you go outside. Will you play on the rock? Oh. Will you play on the rock? Will you play on the rock? I uh, no. You don't want to play on the rock. Would you play on the rock? Oh yeah, I would yeah. play with the rock. Where's the rock? Let me see. Oh, this big rock yeah. over here. I would climb up that. You wouldn't? I wouldn't, because you, you can fall. You can fall. I, but I've seen you climb up the rocks I there know. in our front we entrance. Could, we climbed up that huge rock over there. So, in the, I in think the back you would. Of our house. Remember we climbed up that rock? I did climb up small rocks. Oh, smaller rocks. Okay, let's do. The, let's see the next question. Can you read the next question? It, I'd climb up a bump. Yeah. Oh, a bump okay. rock. Okay. <laughs> it, it, I'd climb up a rock it, this size up. Oh, wow. Aww. Okay, so can you read the second qu question over here? Yeah. Okay, so... May... May wait... So that's an I, okay? There's may, different types of eyes that you may can see. May yeah. I stay and play? May I stay and play? Can the little girl stay and play? Well, I, w I would... I w w wouldn't stay put and play for, Why? For until night time. Oh, not until no. night time. But is it night time here in the but, picture? No. No. Okay. I, I, but I would stay and play. Okay, okay. Can you read the next question? Next one. Okay. So is it? So it says is because sometimes the S sound makes it z z. Oh, That's yeah. true. Is it? A hot day. Is, is it, it a hot, hot day? day? It w uh, more looks like a cold day. It looks a little chilly. Yeah. Almost like yeah. It looks like a little it bit of a chilly. It looks like day. it's like warm. Like w maybe warm. Yeah, yeah but it could no, be a little no, chilly too. No, no. Looks like cold because the sun is going down. That's true. Yeah. That's true. But how it turns night time, the sun is spinning around. Yeah. The, this, the earth is spinning around, but when it points away to the sun, it turns night yeah. mm -hmm. And how the moon comes, the, the moon peeks out behind the sun. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Even a, it's, a, it's even a science lesson up in here. Okay. <laughs> the next one. So, is uh, hey, he, yeah. hey hey on top of the da so the what the. sound out the word ha uh, 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 uh. hey. hot hot yeah hot. Is it, there is. it is it yeah. is that's right good job look michael read all the sentences high five high five, high five. High five. good job and you a high five too so you three, two, one, high five. 
I gave you a high five, since you helped me do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Nicholas is okay. nice. Well, you've been doing almost all of it on your yeah. own. Okay, so Nicholas is going to read what we have to do next. Okay. Okay. Read to the child. Nicholas, so basically you got you got to see which which one is right. What her is doing, you got to see which one okay, is right. Okay, do you want to do that one first? Yeah. Okay, what does okay. it say? So, so... What's the first one say? She has... No, right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A pot. Pot. She has a pot. So this one is right. Yeah, that one is right. What about the yeah. first one? That means you, that means you got to trace okay. it. Okay, do you want to trace it? Yeah. What about the first one? You didn't read the first one. Yeah. So she jump. She jumps. She jumps. She, Is that so right? She, uh, no. no. Okay, so let's trace the second one. Let's see here. Uh, what we have to do. Nicholas is going to read for us. Okay. Read the short story, then read the questions and fill in the little circle next to the correct answers. Okay, so first we're going to read this. Michael's going to read this for us. Michael, can you? What does that say here? I am Jen. Jan. Jan. Yep. I am Jan. Mm -hmm. So is she Jan? She is Jan. Next one. I am gra 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 glad. Glad. She is glad. Yes. What does it say here now? I pray to God. Good. She is pray to God. Yeah. What does the next one say? I, I pray my, no, right here. I pray, what is Mike Nichols pointing to? I, I'm glad for God making the forest. The forest, yeah. yes, you love the forest. Because it looks nice, that, 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 that trail that we look. It, it is tr the trail that we have here is really really nice yeah it looks nice when you when you stand far away from oh it's it. so beautiful you did a really good job thank you for letting me film give me five not this hand what hand then I'm not I'm not high five I'm not high five oh, I have a question for you which one, hands is left and which one's right right sound take this hand yeah. and left is this hand. Good job. Oh, he's good, eh? When I was this age, I had a really hard time you did. doing left. You remember? Now, Susan, which is my um, aunt, taught me a trick. Left is the L uh -huh. finger. This is left, and this is right. The wrong way. Well, the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, friends that is the video I hope that it helped you in some way and if you have any questions regarding the curriculum please leave me a comment down below I love you know chatting with you guys in the uh, comments below and um, I am thinking of doing a video once I completely finish the level K curriculum the language arts I'm planning to do a video just to show you how the curriculum flows from preschool all the way to level K is it enough my tips and tricks pros, cons, that kind of stuff. Um, I like making videos like that because I feel like it can help you out. And I feel like that's one question that a lot of moms ask, like going from preschool all the way to level K, like how does it flow? What are the activities and whatnot? My son started off with the preschool curriculum and he went all the way up until level K and then most likely he'll be going into level one soon. So that is it guys. 
thank you again for the good and the beautiful for partnering up with me for today's video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already like this video to show your support i do have a second channel all about our off-grid adventure so i'll have a link to that channel down below if that's something you're interested in thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in the next video bye